Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of that. I'm actually so proud. <laughs> so that's gained an inch. Hey. Linux. Hi guys, and welcome back. Now, my name's Lynn, for those who are new here. Hey, what's happening? Now, today, I am about to start a new fitness challenge. I've got my book here, because I need to tie you some measurements. But anyway, about to start a new fitness challenge, just because um, this happened, you know? This just happened. This. No, I'm not three months pregnant. I am, um, I have a food baby up in here. Now, I have actually done a challenge before, a couple of challenges. So I did the Lucy Wyndham Reed seven days lose belly fat challenge last year. And that was wicked. I saw the best results with that. And I also did Chloe Ting's abs in 14 days challenge, which was wicked as well. Now, since then, <laughs> yeah, we've been eating, we've been having a party. It's been like, you know they say who ate all the cakes or who ate all the pies, whatever it is. It's me. I ate all of them and the chow mains and the pizzas and the toast. Toast. Mm -hmm. I went in on the toast. It was really, really bad. Um, comfort eating, boredom eating. It, it just happens. And it's all good. It's all good because we're going to make this go. Vamoosh. So I saw yesterday Chloe Ting published a new challenge, which is the small, small waist around butt workout. We're going to do it. First up, let's get into some measurements. I haven't measured the gut ah, or the bum or anything since last year, September. I am under no illusion I put on weight, that's okay. I just hope I'm not too shocked by how much weight I put on, cause yeah. <laughs> I got a bad feeling uh, about right. this. So I'm gonna start off with my upper waist, which was 31 inches in September last year. Hopefully, hopefully it's jumping. Whew, I'm nervous. 32 and a half is where we're hitting. Okay, it's okay. Okay, because we're gonna, we're gonna shred, we're gonna cut it, cut it. So my lower belly was 35 inches in September last year. And now, let's have a look. So it's about 36 inches. So we've gained an inch on the lower. My bum was 40 inches on the widest part. So the part where it sticks out the most, no way. <laughs> no, widest part. So about 41 inches. It was 40 in September. So that's gained an inch. Hey. <laughs> now that's something I'm not mad at, okay. <laughs> Just under my bum. It was 39 before, let's have a look now. Yep, gained an inch again. So just here now, it's 40. This was 39 in September. So the top of my thigh was 24 and a half inches in September last year. And now it's, it. oh my gosh. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, I never have sped it that one. Oh wow. 24 and a half, that's my 26. No sir. So in conclusion, from September 2020 through to, where are we? February 2021, I've gained inches. We're mad about this, we're mad about this. But it's cool because you know what, it's a matter of time it's gonna be gone. It's gonna be gone. So today we're gonna get into Chloe Ting's new round butt small waist workout. I haven't watched the video. I literally saw it on my feed today and I thought, yeah, why not try something new? It'll excite you or shock your body. So I am a little bit scared, uh, a little bit shook it. I see she's got the same annoying music as last time. Yeah. The workout is 16 minutes. I don't know if it's because I'm unfit and I haven't worked out for a while, or if this is genuinely harder than the abs in 14 days challenge. All I know is this is not fun. We go again. Oh, 
Okay, so I've just finished day one of Chloe Ting's Hourglass Challenge, and it's three weeks long. I don't quite, un I don't quite understand how I'm gonna get through that for three weeks. I'm gonna keep you posted anyway, and I'm gonna try my hardest to do it. Ah, uh, I don't know. I want the abs. I do want the abs. I do want the round the butt. Hey guys, this is the one week check-in of my Chloe Ting Hourglass Challenge. Small waist, round butt. <laughs> uh, it's not there yet. It's not there yet. Okay, the butt's not got rounder, and I don't think the waist has got smaller. I don't know, actually, I don't know. Um, what can I say? It's been quite intense, to be honest with you. I'm so proud of myself that I stuck to it every single day for this week. If I stick to it like I have been doing, I will hopefully see some results. But I just wanted to show you a week on. I'm feeling like there might be a slight sign of an oblique, maybe here. I don't know. I don't want to get. I don't want to get gassed. I don't want to get too excited, you know. But no, honestly, it's a good challenge, and I feel like as the days go on, as with anything, you kind of start adjusting to it. It's not. It's not easy by any stretch. It's still not easy, but it's getting more manageable. We still got these, but that's okay. We kind of need the love handles, right? Otherwise, what are they grabbing onto? You know? So I'm going to carry on powering through this challenge. I still can't do it from beginning to end, okay? Don't judge me. I've legit gone dizzy, oh my gosh. I find it funny at the end of the video she says, that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this workout. Who enjoys this? I'll check in with you again. Hey guys, I made it. This is the final day of Chloe Ting's Hourglass Challenge. Small waist, round butt challenge. And it was three weeks long. Do you know what, it was all right. I can't even lie to you. It was actually okay. The first day, I was not feeling it at all. But as time goes on, you kind of get used to it. I might even say I quite got to enjoy it. Yeah, I might say that this time round. Today's an important day because it's measuring day. And I've got written down the measurements I was three weeks ago. So I'm really hoping to see some kind of change. So let me show you where we're at. Let me show you where we're at. So this is how we're looking. Okay, this is how we're looking. I'm gonna, I might have to whip this off. So this is how we're looking. Now I definitely feel some change, I do. And I just hope that results in terms of measurements show some change. I'm just grabbing my tape measure, sorry, I lost it. Okay, here we go. So, okay, so prior to starting this challenge, my waist was 32 and a half inches. Let's see what it is now. 31 and a half, okay, okay, okay. We lost an inch, girl, we lost an inch. <sighs> That's good, right? That's good. I mean, you can't expect miracles. It's been three weeks. I think an inch is something to be proud of. I'm proud of it. Let me just check. <laughs> yeah, so it's 31 and a half. Can you see that? So lower belly, which as we know is always the hardest to lose. Lord knows! It's tough to lose that fat down there. Let's see, I think it definitely looks better. Just on the side. Well, hello. Almost brought the whole lighting down. From the side, let's see. So before this was 36 inches, please. Please tell me there's some loss here. It feels like there is. Oh my gosh. Guys, we lost two inches. Can you even see? Hold on. We've actually lost two inches. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of that. I'm actually so glad. <laughs> Anyone who tries to lose weight will know the belly is, well, for me, the belly is a problem area, especially the lower belly. This lower belly flab is so hard to get rid of. Um, I think things like reverse crunches, 
and leg drops, that kind of, I don't know what they're called. Flutter kicks, all of that really help. Like I said, we've still got the jelly, but the jelly's gone down and that, that guys, we have to thank the Lord for. Okay, but let's not forget this challenge is called the small waist, which I've got it. I've got a smaller waist than I had three weeks ago. So that worked and it's called the round butt challenge. Now let's see because that, I don't know, I think that will be harder to, to measure and to achieve. Let me just show you. So before, the widest part of my bum was 41 inches. If that's got smaller, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm not trying to lose my bum, that's the thing. I wanna keep the bum, but get a smaller waist. Let's see, let's see. What is it now? All right, so before, this bear boy was 41. Um, I just don't want it to get any smaller. Please, Lord, don't let it get smaller. Okay, it's still 41, that's good. No, hold up. Yeah, it's still 41. Okay, just under my bum was 40 inches before. Let's see what it is now. So this is just under. This is going right around the lowest part. So now it's 39 and a half. And then the top of my thigh. This was 26 inches for one, obviously one thigh. So let's now see if this is a lost or gained. I wouldn't be mad. I'd actually be happy if this had gained, but obviously it's very unlikely. This is 24 and a half. So I've actually lost an inch and a half off my thighs. Oh my God. I don't want to lose weight from my thighs. I don't want to. I don't want to lose my thighs or my butts. I just want to keep those nice and on the thicker slash slim side. <sighs> okay, so let me give you an overall analysis on my thoughts of Chloe Ting's Hourglass Challenge. Does it work? Yeah, in some ways. Now, the reality of it is, some people will never have an hourglass. I will never have an hourglass shape. I don't have the hips, that nice curve on the hips to have hourglass shape. However, to, to kind of obtain that kind of look, you just need to have a smaller waist and then your bum comes out. This routine did work to give me a smaller waist. It brought in my actual waist and it reduced my belly size as well. Did it work in giving me gains on the bum? No. No, it didn't. But all in all, it's still a good challenge. It gets you results. And two tips I would give you if you are gonna try Chloe Ting's challenge. Number one is reduce your carbs. Reduce your carbs. In the last three weeks, I've had four pieces of toast. <laughs> I always measure how much carbs I have by toast because I'm a toast girl. I love toast. Oh, toast. And in addition to that, reduce your portion size. They say if you wanna lose weight, you need to be, as well as exercising, drinking lots of water, being consistent, you need to be in a calorie deficit. And I did that, I think I did that, but I did that more so by cutting down my carbs. Okay, and that is it. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would love you to subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you're doing it, best of luck.